Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about navigation stack in ROS and uh, the communication between a robot and navigation stack. We'll be uh, dealing with theory today. There is no practical as such because we need to know the basics of the communication between them and uh, how things work. So I hope you're doing good. So let's get started. In this video, we'll be talking about ROS navigation stack and how ROS navigation stack helps a ROS based robot move from one point to the other autonomously. With that said, let's go inside the architecture of the data flow navigation stack. So this is how it looks from the overall perspective. Now let's see what all data a robot needs to provide to the server so that it can start doing its work. First comes transform. Transform fame is a package which helps the navigation stack understand the relationship between the parts of the robot. Now the second is timestamp. Timestamp is a node which tells the navigation stack the time at which the input was taken so that navigation stack take care of that and accordingly give commands to the robot. Third is odometry. Odometry is a node which tells the navigation stack where exactly is the robot compared to the initial position. It consists of translational and rotational values of the robot. Fourth one is scan data. In this example, scan is the laser data or the lidar data which will be sent to the navigation stack. Last but not the least is the map data. Map data can be provided by the robot or by the server itself once the map has been configured. After the data has been given from the robot and the map data has been also given through the server, a twist node is created. This twist node has the data of how the orientation of the robot should be and robot considers this as an input and reacts to it. Now let's see this architecture in much professional form. This is how it looks like. You can see here, this is the input from the robot that we talked about. This is the navigation stack that we were talking about. And this is the output which goes back to the robot and robot responds to it. We'll go through each and every node of the structure in the upcoming videos and understand which structure or which node does what. I hope you've understood the basics of navigation stack. In the next video, we'll talk about each and every element of navigation stack and how things come together and see a robot autonomously walking from one point to the other and hope you'll be able to make something the same on your own. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.